Hello, my name is Volker. I built myself this mini cannabis grow box because I don't have much space and I wanted to grow my own wheat in a very discreet way. I just completed a grow from seed all the way to harvest. Now I'm going to show you what that plant looks like and what my harvest looks like. Okay, let's go. So I start with germinating one of my cannabis seeds. Here it is, plop. Two days later, this plant is coming out. This is when I put it into my tomato tent. and I switch on the light. So now what I haven't filmed is I've put this plant into a bigger pot with soil in it. Fast forward to day 33 and the plant now looks like this. It is already starting to flower. These white things, they are flowers. This is an autoflowering plant, one that flowers very, very quickly. You get your harvest very quickly and also this plant remains kind of small which fits well into my tent. Now we are at day 72. The plant hasn't grown taller anymore. It has just put all the energy into growing buds. So the buds have become heavier and bigger. At this point they have a very strong smell but the, the carbon air filter filters most of that out and my neighbors didn't smell anything. The flowers on my plant have unfortunately become so compact that I had a mold issue. It's very dangerous. It can spread to the whole plant very quickly so I cut it out. The humidity in my tent was below 50% and I still got mold. Look at that. That's not pretty. We cannot smoke that. After removing the mold the rest of the plant was fine. Day 81, almost three months and the flowers have increased in size. It's still happy and healthy. Here's some more close-ups. It looks a little bit more sugary on there now. And now it's day 84. This is the day of the harvest. I'm now taking the plant out of the tent. One last look at the flowers because I think they look delicious. And now I will start to cut this thing down. Taking out my scissors and snip. Hmm. Snip. Hmm. Snip. Snap. Snop. Snippity. Snop. Snip. Snap. Mm hmm. And the last one, the top cola. Snip. Okay, got them all. Now the next step is to get rid of all these big leaves. That way we make our wheat look nice and it's, the quality gets better. That's a lot of work. After I finish trimming all the buds, I put them back into my grow tent. They are totally wet now and they need to dry. And I'm slowly drying them with the fan running at a low speed. That takes about five to seven days and then they look like this. Now I can check how much I got out of this. Let me get the trusty old kitchen scale out and see what we got here. It comes to 48 grams. Time to smoke a little bit. Let's see how it is. Stick it in my grinder, grind it up, and stick it in my pipe. Yep, that's good shit. So, and now the harvest has been in this jar four weeks now and it's curing, the quality increases. It smells nice, I'm very happy with this. Some people have criticized tomato tent for being so small, but that was the whole point of the operation. I wanted to make a small grow box, very discreet, that fits into my wardrobe, that doesn't sting, that doesn't make any noise. And we are very, very close to that. There are a few things that need to be improved and that's why tomato tent version two is coming out. And let me show you the new things that are coming to version two. Let, let's go to the shop. A really, really important thing is discretion 
and that means there can be no smell at all. One filter, it worked for me in the grow I just showed you, but it would be better to have two filters. So version 2.0 will have a, another filter in here. So that means the air gets filtered twice. First here, then goes up here and gets filtered again up there. Another change in version 2 will be the LED light. This is a, the new version which we will be using and there are so-called far red chips on there. Far red increases the harvest basically. Another recent update is the drying mode. In this mode the LED grow light is off and the controller holds a certain temperature and humidity and by that it will slowly dry your harvest for best quality. The tent has this QR code here and if you point your phone camera on it will open a website that shows you all the details about your current grow in your tomato tent. I know that many of you who have ordered a tomato tent are still waiting for it. I'm late with delivering orders. There were a few problems which have occurred and I wanted to make sure the quality is really good before I ship it out. And now I wanted to ask you if you possibly want to wait for version number two which comes out August 20 and has got all the new stuff. And I hope to see you soon. Bye.